Hi guys, Boise here and in this video I'm going to show you how to navigate in the MiG-15 using NDBs. Now NDBs are um, spread throughout the, uh, the, the map in DCS. You've got them both at airfields and scattered around the countryside and you can tune into these beacons to assist you in navigating. If I just zoom in a bit here I'll show you for example we've got one here, Beacon 312, just sitting here in the countryside next to the lake and you can zoom into the airbase here and you'll see there's an inner and an outer beacon at each airbase well most of them some only have one but uh, a lot of them have two so what we're going to do today is fly a very simple route using the beacons we're going to take off from Krasnodar center and uh, we're going to fly to beacon 312 and then from there we'll uh, fly on to this airfield here Maycop I'm not going to pronounce the whole name of it I should butcher it I would imagine but uh, that's where we're going to end up and we'll do this just by using these beacons it's fairly straightforward um, but let's uh, hop in the cockpit and uh, I'll show you how to do it right okay so here we are on the runway we're all uh, ready to get going so we're going to tune into the first beacon and uh, use that to navigate now we've got uh, a panel here uh, which we need to switch on and we use this to uh, tune into the uh, NDB station. So first thing we do, you've got a rotary knob here, right click and put it onto the first setting and you'll see a, uh, a green light comes on and you'll hear the static as well. Now the first beacon we're going to go to is 312. Now you'll see here, if I zoom in, you've got two ranges, so 150 to 310. 310 to 640 and so on and so forth. We're going to go to the middle range, 310 to 640, and we're going to use the tuning crank to find 312, which of course will be right at the beginning. Okay, that's 310. Okay, that should be correct. Now, um, you'll see there's a signal strength meter here, which is all the way to the top, which means we have a, a fix on the beacon, and you can't hear the static, of course, as well. Now, once you've done that, you'll see here on this gauge here, uh, the needle pointing towards the beacon. Now, that's not uh, a heading, that's uh, relative position to your aircraft, so that needle there means the beacon is over here somewhere. That's where we're flying to. Uh, if the needle is pointing dead ahead at zero, that means it would be ahead of us. So you use this to fly the needle. So you get the needle to the zero clock and you just follow that all the way to the beacon. Uh, and that's it really. Okay, so we've got the beacon selected. Um, we've got uh, a fix on it there. Let's take off and uh, follow that needle towards the first beacon. Okay, roll. And that's all we're going to do really, just tune into the station. Oh. Didn't have my uh, brake set properly then. Right, okay, so you tune to the station and you effectively follow the needle. Let's get into the air. We'll build up a bit of speed before we uh, turn towards that beacon. Get the flaps up. Okay, great. So if you look at this gauge here, you'll see that the beacon is effectively behind us. So we're going to turn left, and you'll see that needle will start tracking to the zero position as we move our nose closer to it. We're going to stay beneath the cloud here, so we'll uh, do the first beacon at low level. And then after that we can climb up and uh, find the airfield with uh, no visual uh, on the ground at all. Okay, so you can see there the needle is nearly at zero, which is where we want it to be. We'll just bank slightly further and then we'll start levelling out. It'll probably rock a little bit as you get, uh, get a fix on it. Just trim her out. Okay, so you can now see that it's more or less zero. It's a touch to the right, so we'll bank slightly just to line it up. Uh, and 
and uh, make sure we're on the right uh, the right path. Let that settle down a bit. Okay. Uh, the only negative to this is it doesn't show you distance, so it won't show you how far away you are from the needle. Uh, of course, if you plan your route ahead, you'll get an idea of distance and timings and so on and so forth. But purely flying this method, it will just tell you where to go, not uh, when you'll be there. Now, when you do reach the beacon, um, it will uh, do a couple of things. The first thing that will happen is as you overfly, the needle will pull to one side as you actually go over it. Because, of course, if you think that the beacon's ahead of us now and, that, and it's pointing towards that, if we fly over it, it won't be ahead of us anymore, it'll be beneath us. And actually, it'll work all the way to the 180 degree position as we overfly it. So you'll know that you're over the beacon when the, uh, the needle starts going either left or right uh, and towards the back. The second thing is if you fly directly over the beacon, you'll get a buzzer sound as well and a light here. There we go. Now that's not the beacon we want. That must be a beacon for this airfield there, so ignore that. But that was a perfectly timed demonstration. Blimey, couldn't have planned that better. So there's an example of it. As we fly over the beacon, both the needle will start misbehaving and we'll get that buzzer as well and you'll know that we're there. So we'll just continue a bit further. Now having looked at the mission planner I know that the beacon's the far side of this large lake so it's not too much further before we get there. So it might be worth um, binding this to some controls on your joystick or your throttle or Perhaps even your keyboard, because you imagine it's a bit difficult fiddling about with this in flight. Not so bad when you're on your own and you've got your aircraft trim, but I should imagine if you're flying with others and uh, you're all twiddling your navigation knobs at the same time, you might uh, lose each other. Okay, so not much further to go till we get to the beacon. I say it's just really a case of just following this needle, it's not particularly complicated at all. Very cloudy. So we'll climb over that once we reach the first beacon and then we can uh, find Makeup Airfield in, well, with no visual at all on the ground, so that will put uh, our theories to the test. Now you'll see it's just chopping slightly to the right, the needle, just following it slightly, but don't follow it all the way because it, it's probably that we're just getting a bit closer to it. So we'll, we'll level out now. Um, and as we get close to the beacon, it'll probably start uh, flipping to one side anyway. We know we're more or less on the right path because we followed it this far. Now we've made it across the lake, so it can't be much further I wouldn't imagine. And what we'll do is, as we do the second beacon, rather than make you watch the whole thing with me wittering on, I'll, uh, I'll perhaps cut to that as we get closer to it. So we'll get this first one out of the way first and then we'll do that. Okay, so no beacon flash yet, no buzzer. Uh, the needle, ah, as I say it, there it goes. So that means we're over the beacon now. If you watch the needle, you'll see it flipping to one side as we fly over it. And that means we're at the beacon now. So that's the first part of our journey completed. Now I'm going to throttle up and we're going to climb through this cloud and complete the second part uh, purely using the NDB with no uh, visual awareness. Let's climb up. Once we're through the clouds we'll select the next station. Right, should be bursting through. Yep, there we go. Good, okay, so let's just trim her out, nice and level. Okay, so uh, we're going to go for the next station, which is 591. Now, we're already on the correct range here, because of course 591 will sit between 310 and 640. Going to uh, adjust this. It's 450, 430, 470. 510, 550, 
Make sure we're not plunging to our doom whilst I'm concentrating on this. Okay. So we've now picked up, or hopefully picked up the beacon for the base. It's going to make sure. Okay, good. Now you'll see here that the uh, the direction needle has changed and it should be fixing onto that uh, beacon now. So we're going to turn right and put that needle at our zero, our 12 o'clock. And that should take us on path there. Okay, just keep turning until you can get that needle at your 12 o'clock. I don't know why I'm looking behind me, there's no other aircraft in the sky, I'm not going to get shot down. Okay, just slightly adjust it, just get it about right. about right, just let it settle down. It should be more or less on the right heading there. Okay, right, we're more or less on the right heading now, so what I'll do, I'm going to continue flying this route, uh, and then as we uh, get closer and pick up a signal, we'll, uh, I'll jump uh, jump back into the video so we can uh, go through it. So, see you in a second. Right, okay, it looks like the needle's starting to move slightly. We've kept the same course, but it's veering to the left slightly now. We're not going to try and follow that. I think that's, yeah, that indicates that we're over the beacon. You can see it really moving now. We'll let uh, let it go past, and then we'll uh, we'll go and see if we're in the right place. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've got no buzzer, uh, not a massive issue. Probably means we're not directly over it, but that means the beacon's behind us now, which is at the airfield, so it should be down there. So I'm going to cut throttle, and uh, I'm going to enter a left hand, and we're going to uh, slowly descend through the clouds. And uh, if everything has gone well, then we should see the airfield relative to that needle. So if you imagine now, the needle's showing sort of behind us there, which means the airfield should be about there. And as we uh, descend through, uh, the needle position should say relative to the beacons at the airfields. Let's just keep descending through the cloud. Make sure we aren't overspeeding it, which is very, very easy to do in the MiG-15, especially when you're dogfighting. Okay, to keep descending through the cloud, keep an eye on the instruments. There we go. Right, so the needle's on our left, there should be an airfield on our left. There we go. So all we've done there is use two beacons to get to our destination. We did the first beacon just as a uh, an en route point as it were. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the range of the beacons and how far it can pick up signals. Um, so in this case here we use one beacon you know, approximately halfway um, and then we use the, the second beacon was actually the beacon for the airfield itself but in essence that's it so just tune the correct channel on here and uh, make sure it picks up that correct channel and then just follow the needle to your destination and uh, that uh, from a basic point of view is uh, is uh, enough to uh, get you going on uh, MiG-15 navigation. Thank you for watching.